Hey, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to make audio waveforms bigger in the multi-track view of Adobe Audition CC. So here we go, just a bit of audio I recorded, and I'm gonna start my multi-track session here now and drag in that audio. So here we go, there's my bit of audio, and then I wanna go in and grab in this. There we go. Nice little sound effect. Now you can see the problem. Sound effect is here on track three. Nice and huge chunky wave. I cannot see what's going on there. That audio is just, it's just too low in the mix. It's under minus 24 dB. And when you bring it into multi-track, well, you can hardly see that audio at all. Uh, now before you'd have had to have gone back in, you probably have had to selected this, uh, pulled it up using the, the volume knob here, or you'd have had to go to favorites, normalized 0.1 dB. Maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you don't want to destroy the original audio data or volume levels in your original audio file there. Um, well, now you can do a non-destructive process in the multi-track as of Adobe Audition CC 2019. And this is gonna save you a lot of time. Just zooming in on this button here, it's the kind of volume bar button in the bottom left of every single waveform you drag into multi-track. And it works really quick. I'm gonna zoom in like this, and then I'm just gonna start pulling this to the right. And wow, lo and behold, my audio gets louder and softer. And it will go all the way down to, look at this, it goes right the way down to minus 300 dB, and it will go right the way up to plus 96 dB. So you've got a lot of range here. Uh, so I'm just gonna move this up now till I can start seeing the waveform. Good news about this is it will make your audio louder in the multi-track. It will allow you now to see that with a 20.2 dB boost. But when I go back to the original file, it's non-destructive. So it has not affected my original waveform. It's kept it at the original volume level that it was recorded at. But now in multi-track, I can see that nice and clear. And maybe this sound effect is just a little too loud. I can then just go in here and drag again and just pull that down a little bit. So it's not obliterating and, and maxing out my, my view here. Now I have two waveforms uh, that are in the multi-track ready to mix together on any channel that look really good. They're the same size. I've done non-destructive edits. It's really cool stuff. So simple. And now you're able to do it as of Adobe Audition CC 2019. Let me know how you get on with this feature and other new features that you find in Adobe Audition CC 2019. <laughs>